Oh, okay, that's what's up. So, what do you like to do for fun? Well, you know, I be on demon time, for real. Because <laughs> I don't play with no demons. Matter of fact, how you cut this off? Uh, today my paper is going to be... Why are you hard? What's wrong with you? That is none of your concern. It is my concern. What did it get me? Why did I do it? Our next contestant is Warren. Okay, so there's no more balloons, so go ahead and go. Hi, I'm Bao. I'm naturally androgynous. It's because I'm white and skinny. And for science, let's see how poor people are at recognizing gender. Blue is a boy's color, right? False. I am consistently gendered as femme in this. But in this shirt, I'm consistently gendered as male. So, which one of you guys wants to see a magic trick? One, two, hey look, suddenly I'm non-binary. Three, four, five, boom, new gender. I am always seen as a girl when I travel like this. So my favorite thing about people gendering me like this is the glasses, change it, and there are no straight men in this fandom. This could go either way, which is funny because I'm dressed expressly to like one of the men in that fandom. Gender is a variable based on your experiences. And I said, well, how hard can it be? Boys do it. And then I said, how hard can it be? Boys do it. I gotta, if I wanted to say that, I would have wrote it. I well, you said, implied that. I said what I said. Okay, well, what okay? you said was some bull <laughs> But you don't like it, is. you don't like it. I sure okay? damn don't like it. Well, then, what you want me to do? Okay, uh, you oh, don't no. like it. You What? I've just had a transgender operation. Here are a couple of my must-haves if you are a trans man or if you are a trans mask. You need somewhere to put and dispose of your sharps if you are on testosterone. This is a two-gallon container. I got it on Amazon and I covered it in anime stickers. On the topic of medication, I have this little container that I got. It's literally a first aid container from Target. I am hoping to upgrade it to the Stealth Bro container, but this works just fine if you can't afford something like that. This was like $10 at Target. Holds everything I need in a nice compartmentalized case and I can take it packing and traveling with me and no one has any clue what's in it, so. And I love these silicone scar strips. You just lay them on top of your scars, you throw some K-tape over them, it'll last for like a couple of weeks. You could also find this product on Amazon, or you can go into like a Walgreens or something and get silicone scar strips. I recommend 100% silicone if you can find them. They seem to be working the best. And if you are pre-op, I used a GC2B binder. Um, I loved them. I know that trans tape is all the rage right now too, so if you are looking to grow some facial hair, I definitely recommend Dr. DHT. This is their beard growth oil. Love this stuff. I use a roller on my skin as well as in conjunction with this every night. Absolutely love it and it has done wonders in filling up some space on my cheeks. I also struggled a lot with acne. I used the CeraVe products. This is the retinal cream. I just ran out of my acne foaming face wash, but I use that as well. I use this at night before I go to bed. Um, on, and on top of it, I use a moisturizer. These are a little pricey, but I take these hair vitamins. They also have ashwagandha root extract and zinc. Definitely zinc is gonna help with your skin a lot. And then I also use their um, hair serum as well for thinning. these for packing. I don't use packing boxers. You just slip in this little pouch, your packer, wear it around your waist. You can wear whatever kind of boxers you want with it. Love, 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 love. Listen, you're gonna smell. It's just a fact. You can pick up some cheap cologne on Amazon for like $10. Get some, please, and deodorant. Let me know if you guys like content like this. I can definitely make another video, so. No, Jarrell! Run the road again! Damn it! It's cut! You don't have anybody to flat! Yes, 
Yes, you are jealous of me. It's clear. Everybody says it. <laughs> Your beauty is destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> Hotcha! Bimo, how do I look? Like the devil! Do y'all think I look like a boy? Don't answer that! Please don't answer that! I already know! I waited for three and a half years. White man did it in one week. I waited for three and a half years. White man did it in one week. Make it circle, make it circle. Get him up, let him get up, let him get up, let him get up. Broly on my wrist, Broly on my beach, 30 on my waist, 30 to your face, 60 to your face. It's kind of a funny way of putting it, but yeah, um, essentially a lot of trans masculine folks like myself will wear a prosthetic peen. The purpose of a packer is to alleviate dysphoria by giving the subtle impression that there is a bulge down there. And there's a whole bunch of kinds of them too. So I made this one in under a minute using a sock and some kidney beans. I personally use a silicone packer. It's hyper realistic, so I cannot show it on screen, but I do keep it in my little pouch here. Um, this is what I use to attach the packer to my body. It's called a sling. I use the brand MyPack. You can also make a super cheap one of these with like a sock and some elastic band from your local craft store. Who are you playing with, sweetie? Amanda. Huh? Oh, who are you? I'm Amanda. I'm six. Spider-Man. At least I was. Chest binders are not designed to give you a flat chest. Hear me out. Very few humans are stick straight up and down. People of all genders have bumps and curves. Your chest is a combination of fat, breast tissue, and your pectoral muscles. Not even cis men have totally flat chests. A binder is designed to help you go from a traditionally feminine silhouette to a more masculine one. It's all about proportions. If you are in a larger body, your chest will be larger regardless of the sex you were assigned at birth. Your binder should help you shift and manage your chest to make it appear flatter and more like a cis man's, but it won't vanish it completely. That would look very odd. We also haven't invented binders of holding yet. Likewise, if your body is smaller, the goal is for your chest to appear more like pecs. Think Chris Evans. If you have a naturally larger chest but a smaller frame, you are going to have a harder time achieving your desired look. Binders are not all powerful and your breast tissue has to go somewhere, but even on larger chests they can still help you feel more comfortable. Remember to utilize clothing here too. A binder should be one tool, not your entire toolbox. All chests are different. 
Find what works for your body. I've been seeing a lot of stuff that's either maybe in another universe I'm not trans or I enjoy being trans. And my take on it is I would enjoy it if people didn't hate me and if it was free. Like contrary to how nice my room is, I live in a trailer park, I can't afford top surgery, I can't afford hormones, and I certainly cannot afford a dick. <laughs> but I feel like it's given me a lot of experience. Like if I was a cis guy, I would be an asshole. And I'm an asshole as is, but I'm an insightful one. Also, it would be cool not getting ostracized from everything ever at all, but that that might just be a me thing, guys. It's just simple stuff too, like putting the tags gay or MLM in my videos when I know I look and sound like this. It's just like... I am a white, transmasculine, femme, non-binary, temporarily, mostly able-bodied, neurodivergent, obsessive, compulsive, chronically ill, culturally Jewish. I said I want something big. I want something that says I'm here. Beyonce. <laughs> you are Beyonce. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. OMG, I never noticed. Thank you for this brand new life-changing information. Smash. Okay, I used to date this gay guy in high school when I was like trying to cover up the fact that I was queer for my parents. I wanted them to think that I was straight. So I was dating this guy. Um, and then after I came out as trans, he came out as gay and he slid in my fucking DMs, all types of smooth, and he was like talking about how we came full circle. Yeah! Sometimes I'm embarrassed to be friends with Becky. Do y'all think I look like a boy? Don't answer that! Please don't answer that! I see the horns on my head, they're from goddesses, goddesses. Oh God. No! I never knew what it meant, what it meant to be content with you. We got a big apart to see the back and watch it twirl. Let's play a little game I made. All you gotta do is pick a candy bar, one gotta play. If you eat the wrong one, I swear to God, but that's on you. All I know is if you spit that shit out, boy, I bet I shoot. Spell it in her. T R A N N Y. Daddy Chill, I'm one of the guys. In between my eyes. Say it louder. Optimus Prime. I T T I R. Now you listen to me, kiddo. Alright? I want to take a shower with him. No, I mean, I mean, I, 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 I mean, I wanted to be, I wanted to have him as a pet. Not a shower or make out with him. You said you gotta be up in the morning, gonna have an early night. And you're starting to bomb me, baby. Why'd you only call me when you're home? All I know, you could be Batman. I am not Batman. I'm Batman. And who's gonna kiss the brown hair? Our next contestant is Warren. Okay, so there's no more balloons, so go ahead and go.
unsafely for three years really fucked up my chest, so this is my warning to you not to do that shit. I was absolutely terrible when it came to binding, because you know the shit I would do, and don't do this. Don't be like, oh, that's a good idea. No, f don't do it. I would have, like, my regular size binder on, like, all day, and then when I went to sleep, I would change binders, put on one that was slightly larger, and I'd be like, oh, I have some breathing room, so it's fine. Like, I want to go back to myself and be like, don't fucking do that. It wasn't until the aftermath that I realized this is, like, really bad for my body. When you still have a chest physically, you don't really notice how much you're affecting your chest, but my ribs... Oh my god. And before I show you my chest, I'm just gonna say, I don't know if this is completely related to binding. It could have also been a condition that I had before that just became much more obvious after getting top surgery. But this is my chest. I have a condition called pectus excavatum, which is basically, you have very flared ribs, you kind of have like a beer belly, and your chest is sort of caved inward on itself. I don't know completely if this is due to binding, but I know these flared ribs in this issue definitely was probably worsened by it. This isn't even to say that I hate my chest because I don't hate the way my chest looks. I mean, it's a little like weird, but you know, it's mine. My recommendation regardless of however you feel about this, do not bind unsafely. Do not sleep in a binder. Do not layer binders and take rest days and take it from me. Go out there and start binding safely, please. Our next contestant is Warren. He's okay, so there's no more balloons. So go ahead and go. All right, I get it. Fine. You're all without fathers, all right? I'm I, I, not. I love my dad. <laughs> What do you mean my cards for decline? Try it again. Buy me Prada. No, no, no. Balenciaga. No, no, no. All that work and what did it get me? Why did I do it? Oh, they, they let you pick any name you want when you get down there. And you landed on McLovin. Yeah, it was between that and Muhammad. Why the fuck would it be between that and Muhammad? Can I, would you like one dollar or do you want to double it and give it to the next person? Give me the dollar. Do you, no, I'm saying. Do you ever wish you were not famous and can live an ordinary life? I'll be honest with you, no. I'd like to check in, please. Oh my God, where did you come from? On your plate and Action man. Who the hell is that? Oh my god, no, it's John. My pipe with a random man in a dark and weary nook. But to transcend a man two pints, gonna get lucky and fist him tonight. Guys. They didn't give me enough information. I had no idea that this is what trans was going to be. Look, see, this is testosterone. Uh, hold on, I'm going to open it. Now, are you sure this is everything that's going to happen to me? Are you sure? Secondly, when you go to the doctors, they first, A, they want you to go to a fucking therapist. They're like... We need a referral letter. Make sure you're actually trans. And then when you go to the doctors and you're like, okay, I have, I have my papers. This is everything. They give you a form that is like 30 pages long that they want you to read through and sign. They're like, okay, this is what's going to happen to you. Bro, at this point, just say you can't fucking read because what? What do you mean bros built like a one by one Lego piece? What even is a one by one Lego piece? Yep, you're banned. She was so nasty and so rude I that I don't so even, nasty don't ever bring so anybody rude. around me like that. So nasty and that's what happened. So rude. I don't wanna be served. Don't save me. I don't wanna be saved. Don't save me. I don't wanna be saved. Boys don't get periods. I don't get a period, but some trans boys do. And this is very uncomfortable for them because once a month they have to deal with the same concerns that women who get their period deal with, like what underwear should I wear? What pad should I use? Will the pad shift and will I leak through? So that's why many trans men 
women and postpartum mothers love my pad holding boxers because when they need to, they can attach even the largest winged pads to them and they don't have to worry about that. And they'll feel more secure and more comfortable knowing that they're not gonna leak through and they're not gonna have to adjust it. And it'll just be more comfortable for them during that time. Plus, since I designed the flap out of 100% cotton, when the pad is not in, you don't even feel the flap and you can still wear them comfortably. If it swims like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's probably a fucking...